am so excited to be coming to you with y'all. Well, so we have another Black Friday cloth and paper unboxing. <sighs> y'all, I mean, I'm excited about this. Please know I'm excited. But I'm also a little sad. One of my boxes got lost. <sighs> oh, I'm, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Hopefully, it'll be found and sent or refunded and a new one will be sent. But for now, we have this one. Okay. And y'all, I'm going to be honest. I can't remember which one this is. <laughs> so, I have gotten two of my, I think, four orders. Plus the winter estate box is coming. The December cloth and paper box is coming. Oh, there's so much stuff happening. And it's so exciting. So, look at this. Isn't she lovely? I am so excited. I put up my Christmas tree in my office. As you can see, she doesn't have any ornaments on yet. Because I can't decide what color ornaments I want to use. I'm going to get there, y'all. I am. I mean, it might be Christmas Eve by the time I do, but whatever. It'll get there. Let's start with this one that's in my lap. Um, and I think we're going to... Nope, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to get a pair of scissors. Hold on. <laughs> I'm back. Got some scissors. So, let's open her up. I honestly don't remember what's happening here. I have to say I'm a little confused as to why I have this box, but oh my word, it's a lot of tissue paper and bubble wrap for what's in here. Basilica candle. <laughs> do, 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 do. Let's see. Yes. It's the Basilica candle. Mm -hmm. <sighs> they really need to hurry up and invent smell o vision because. I wish y'all could smell this. If you have never used one of their Basilica candles before, oh my goodness. If you're a candle person and not a planner person, please go to Cloth and Paper and order this candle for yourself. You will not regret it. It smells so good. It smells so good and it smells so rich and woody and it's got this amazing just spice. It just smells so beautiful. It's so beautiful for this time of year too. It's also got a wood wick, which is so fun. Um, and I just feel like this time of year is so nice. So I'm gonna just set that right there for the moment. That's gonna end up going in my room probably. And we are going to open the rest of this order. I think this is gonna be a probably a shorter unboxing. Because now that I've seen that, I kind of remember what else I got with that. Ooh, okay. <laughs> it's that silver. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this silver you deserve luxury bag was the gift with purchase. Um, and then on the back side, it has, has the cloth and paper. Um, logo on the back side okay Ooh. okay you know what you guys i'm gonna switch y'all to an overhead because y'all deserve to really see all of this stuff so i'll be right back okay so we're overhead 
So the bag again is embroidered. This is, so this is embroidery and it says you deserve luxury. And then the logo on the back, the CP logo on the back is also embroidered. So this is so much fun. I am probably going to use this for other things when I travel. I might actually even put my um, planner in it. We'll see. Because on the inside, this one isn't like the other one. So on the inside of this one, it's got like a plasticky kind of. It's kind of like the stuff that sometimes you have on the inside of a, like a waterproof bag almost. <laughs> so it kind of feels like that, which is kind of cool. So maybe I'll put, I don't know what I'll put in it, but maybe toiletries even. We'll see. And then you have the black ribbon. So pretty. So what I got for this order is, and so we have all of the things and then we have the to keep, which has the um, order slip in it. And then in here, we just have the um, thank you card. This is what the thank you card is looking like right now. And then for my order, I ordered the Lux page flags, the to-do page flags. So actually, we're going to take these out because it'll probably be easier to see if they're not in the plastic. I love these, the to-do page flags. Then I also ordered the do page flags. And I am so excited, y'all. Um, as of Wednesday of last week, I am no longer department chair, so I am now full, I'm still full professor, still staying at the same university, and now I get to pay attention 100% to my research center that I started. Um, I am so, oh my god, I'm so excited to be able to just be a center director full time. And the do and the to do page flags are gonna come in so handy for that. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So we have the schedule page flags and then the task page flags. So because I'm no longer gonna be in administration, I also don't need multiple calendars anymore. Oh man, I can't even tell you how relaxed I am. Oh, it's such a blessing. I love my faculty so much and I'm so excited to be a colleague and not an administrator. It's going to be so exciting. So the last one is the tasks one. I love the colors of these two, those blues, greens, and grays. So, so pretty. And I hope that's coming out like you can see how beautiful those colors are. Um, but it's so gorgeous. And then I got the nude spotlight spotlight <laughs> spotlight stickers which is they are so pretty so these come in a sheet of three you get a small and then you get a large oops that's backwards large and then you get a medium so I just love how these look. I love this beautiful nude color. It is so, so pretty. So I'm excited to just punch those and have those in my collection to use for 2024. And then also I got this ash. Now ash is a gray color which I'm excited about. Alexa, turn on the lights. Okay. Okay, so I had to turn on the lights a little bit because I was kind of feeling like y'all might not really be seeing because it's getting cloudy outside. So this is the ash. It's this really beautiful gray color. And then you get again same thing where you get the medium medium and then the large 
so gorgeous. Ooh, hold on. Oh, y'all. We might have to do something where we do a spotlight and a spotlight. Look at that nude and ash together. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. You know we love a layering moment. All right. And then I got this dashboard. And now, given what my new duties are going to be for 2024, this dashboard has a whole new set of meanings for me. So intentional planning. And then here it just says schedule routine task weekly. Start your day to uh, by making a to-do list. Check off tasks as they are completed. Keep planning tools organized and easily accessible. Uh, and then keep tight deadlines. Keeping tight deadlines will help eliminate added stress. And I totally believe in that. For my students who follow me, former students who follow me, every my students know I don't take late work. Like I can't, I can't, because I always have way too many things going on. And even though I won't be department chair anymore in the spring, I'll still have way too many things going on. So keeping tight deadlines is still going to be really key for me. And then I love here, use a notebook, calendar, keep a planner, end of day. So under use a notebook, it says easily manage everything all in one place. Organize your thoughts by making lists. A notebook is an easy customize is easily customizable to fit all of your planning needs. I should probably find my glasses, y'all, because that's why I'm missing words. Anyway, and on to calendar. Beginning of the day, highlight anything important that is happening. Make a separate to-do list for non-time specific items and requests. Keep track of important dates and deadlines. And then in keep a planner, find a planner that works for your lifestyle. Be mindful of your time by planning your day based on a schedule. Uh, knowing when tasks are due will help you stay on track throughout the day. And then once you've finished uh, with the week, remove that page from your planner and move on to the next week. Now that one, removing the pages, I don't, I remove my pages at the end of the month, not at the end of the week. Uh, but I, so I am one of those people who doesn't keep the whole year on their, on their discs. Once the month is over, I'm, I put it to storage and move on to the next. So that's the only different one that I'll be doing. At the end of the day, it says uh, check off completed tasks every night, which is something I usually do, but the last couple of months has been crazy and I haven't. So I've been checking them off like a day or two later. <laughs> um, but I'm so excited to be able to get back to my nightly check off. Keep an online calendar, RSVP to online meeting invites and transfer them to your physical planner for easy access to meeting times. I 100% do that, have been doing it for years. Set a timer to stay on task. And then Sunday, transfer any unfinished tasks to the next week's to-do list. This is something I've religiously been doing for the better part of five years. So I'm excited to keep doing this. So I got this. This is on cream color cardboard with black writing. Um, it does have a look of texture, but it's actually fairly smooth. So it is a gorgeous uh, dashboard to have. This is one, like I said, I got because I just needed to keep some of these ideas. All of them are things I've been doing, but I really needed to keep some things at front of mind. I still do. So I am excited to use this in my planner for next year. So these are the things that I purchased. Um, you know, we do a little bit of a setup usually, but since this really is, all of these really I purchased to be 2024 items. We'll see them being used throughout the year, but then used as part of the 2024 setup. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Um, I'm going to put all these little goodies right back in this little handy dandy silver. And actually what I might do is go ahead and transfer all of the 2024 setup items 
into this one so they'll all be together when it's time to set up for 2024. I am so excited. All right. So let's go ahead and, and you know what? One of the things I'm going to stick in there is this gift um, with purchase that we received from the previous one um, from the, the, when was it? From the previous Black Friday unboxing that I did with the heirloom. So we're going to stick this one right in here. Because this is going to be a 2024 thing. These are the planner system journaling cards. Actually, you know what? I put them back in the plastic and now I want to take them back out. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, because those are the same size. So that means those go in this handy dandy to keep envelope. Oh, look at that. That is perfect. Okay, let's take this one out so that there's a little bit more, yeah, there's a little bit more give in there because there are four of these. So you would want to keep all of these together, ideally, in one folder. So, but it definitely makes it a little too snug to have that other card in there with them. All right, woohoo! And we'll just put this on the outside and put this all in there. So that will be the start of our 2024. Now I do have from the November unboxing, uh, the stationary box unboxing, we already got our new January um, calendar tent for 2024 so i'm also gonna put this in here so i won't forget to use that so for right now all of this is gonna be all of the 2024 items that we're going to be using so i am super excited about this y'all i cannot wait so in my i'm trying to also not have super hurt feelings because the box that's lost i think is the box that well, wait, so the box that's lost is the box that has the time, um, the gift with purchase that was the time block stickers. Y'all, I'm telling you, if I can't get, if I can't get those stickers, I'll be heartbroken. <laughs> but anyway, the next box that I have coming has the discs and some other planner insert items for 2024. So we will be setting up our 2024 calendar very, very soon. So I am super excited for this Black Friday order. I cannot wait for the other things to come. Um, I hope y'all enjoy the bounty of your...